Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. All right, so today we're going to be doing something very cool. So I recently got a circuit board in the mail from PCBWay. I'll put a link to PCBWay in the description with a discount that you can get if you sign up with uh, the code in the description. Now anyway, what this is, is it's going to be a device that can control lights with these little Arduino wireless chips. Now it's a relatively simple circuit board and you'll see it in a second, but it uses these little RF module circuit boards that plug into it and it allows you to use one master Arduino to control multiple different lights. And that is basically what that is. We'll be using some Arduino Nanos, some of these little chips, and some TIP-121 Darlington transistors, and we'll make a cool circuit board. All right, so let's crack open this bag. Now, while I do this, I'm gonna explain a little bit about why I'm doing this. I'm actually part of a FIRST Robotics team, and our team is going to Worlds, and we need a really cool display, and the best way to make a display is with lights. And uh, lights make a cool display, and the best way to control lights is with uh, circuit boards. And I didn't want just normal lights that were just staying on the whole time, so I thought it'd be cool if we had lights that could activate when someone walks by, which is why we'll be using ultrasonic sensors, and it'll be pretty cool. Well, anyway, here are the circuit boards, and those look awesome. That is exactly how I ordered them. These circuit boards are from PCBWay. As you can see, they got here in a pretty quick amount of time, and there they are, nicely wrapped, and gives my order number and everything else you need. All right, so this is this PCB right here, and I will show you the schematic later, but it looks extremely nice. It's super glossy, and it says my name on there, and the Tarantic RF light controller, and it's got all the parts you need to attach all the components to it. It's got the four different transistors, and the place for the Arduino, and overall it looks very nicely made, very nicely done. Alright, so building these circuit boards are going to involve a lot of soldering. I'm going to make three separate circuit board light controllers, which will allow me to control 12 separate light strands using an RF signal. Now, for each of these boards, we're going to need four transistors, one little RF receiver board, one Arduino Nano, four resistors, these res I forgot what value these resistors are, and four of these blue connectors. All right, now to bring this board to Houston for the robotics competition, and maybe program it on the plane. So these are the finished products of the board. As you can see, they look very nice. All the soldering on the bottom is completely done. We've got the Arduino, it's locked into place. We've got the RF receiver and the four transistors and all the terminals. And now it's time to wire them up to all of the LED lights. And so here I have these foam towers that are going to go on our robotics display. And these foam towers have four LEDs inside. Now it'd look really cool to have these LEDs look like they're rotating around. So that is what this board is for. Each terminal which connects to each transistor is connected to a different LED strip. And they are controlled by the Arduino via this little RF receiver. So this is what will be put into here and powered. And then what happens is when this receives a signal from the Arduino, it'll stop cycling these LEDs around and it will flash them super bright. It'll look really cool. As you can see, one is being wired right now by one of my team members and she is attaching the wires into the circuit. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, wiring it up is pretty easy. You just gotta slide the wires into the terminals and use a screwdriver to connect them. This device right here will be the main transmitter. As you can see, we have an Arduino Uno with an ultrasonic sensor attached to the top. And then we have the RF transmitter on the back and an antenna. This will be sitting on part of our display and it will transmit whenever somebody walks by to activate all the other receiver boards. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to flash all the circuit boards now for all the different light receivers. Now the entire reason that I'm doing these receivers is because it makes it a lot easier to control all the lights with one control source because running data wires everywhere makes it a little more tricky. So by using wireless data from these devices, it makes it work a lot better. We'll also need to add some antennas to the device using the soldering iron and the antenna. Alright, so this is the final light show. As you can see, we have 
the lights inside the little towers and they're spinning around and that looks really cool. We have these lights and we have these lights. The entire entrance to our robotics pit looks awesome. As you can see, this is a circuit board. It's powering all the lights on the side and it looks pretty good. All the lights are blinking as they should. Power is transferred through these conduits and they're powered by two separate 2 amp power supplies that supply 12 volts and 2 amps. Now I did not build the sign, somebody else on my robotics team did this. And I built the lights and the control systems for it and it looks really cool for our world's robotics competition. So, that is the sign, and that's how to make a cool circuit board and how you can control the lights to it. Now, let's take a look at some of my robotics matches. Alright, so I am recording this video after that robotics tournament has happened, and I am actually in the process of editing this video right now. So a few things that I'd like to mention, um, we didn't do as well in this robotics competition as I thought we would do. Uh, our team didn't do as well as we thought, but we had lots of fun. Second of all, with that circuit board, the light display, you may have noticed that I didn't show anything about the device triggering when someone walks by to make the lights flash. And that was because I wasn't actually able to get those RF sensors to work. This was a very last minute project and I programmed a lot of the code for these things on the plane to Houston. And even once there, I was unable to get the devices to work with the RF modules. I've also I've done some work with those RF modules before when I did a BB-8 video and some Christmas light videos a long time ago but I've since lost that code on a previous computer and I think my code is also on Codebender which that website lost my account or something. Well anyway I was able to make the circuit boards just function as devices that allow you to blink all the transistors in whatever pattern you want which allows for still a very cool light show and I think it worked better that way too. So as always thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Also you can check the description if you want to get that uh, $10 off code to PCBWay and the link will be right in the description. Thanks for watching.